The Gemara in Menachot talks about what's called Chochmat Yevanit, Greek wisdom, Greek philosophy, which is diametrically opposed to the Torah. Greek philosophy involves trying to master and understand the laws of nature for the purpose of ruling over nature. And this is the main attitude that the Torah is against because in the Torah also is included the laws of nature in knowing all the laws of kashrut, how it works, milk and meat, salting and food products, kasherizing vessels, all the laws in Judaism we require for their understanding knowledge of how nature works, of hot water, cold, how all the things that make up in this world when used for serving Hashem so you require knowledge, basic knowledge in how things work so it's understood that we have to understand but it's for the sake of serving Hashem as opposed to Greek philosophy, Greek wisdom which also includes in it an approach where a person seeks to understand for the sake of his understanding and ruling over the item this is what the Torah is opposed to in other words, people who seek out worldly wisdoms their mission in doing so, unfortunately is for an ulterior motive and only for the ulterior motive, which is for their personal benefit. Whereas someone who comes from the Torah perspective, and from the Torah, out of necessity in understanding the Torah, and nothing else, just wanting to serve Hashem, and wanting to sign the Torah for the sake of serving Hashem, from that perspective, learning how nature and wisdom works, it's a different attitude. So, uh, this attitude is called Chakirot, where a person investigates philosophical speculation, philosophical investigation, where a person delves into wisdoms just for the sake of him mastering that wisdom for a personal benefit. And this, in extension to learning foreign ideology outside of the Torah for the purpose of things outside of the Torah, is also an attitude which the Torah is warning to stay away from, which means that even when learning Torah, you can find, unfortunately, this attitude, and it must be avoided. When a person learns the Torah with, with, with what's called chokhmot, with an intellectual pursuit, for the sake of just gaining personal gain of understanding, so I can build myself up, build my ego, build who I am, get a title, even within learning Torah, that must be avoided. The ultimate purpose and the only purpose and the goal and the way of learning Torah must always be with a sincere, humble, emuna based attitude. That I, my whole goal in learning Torah is for the sake of coming close to Hashem. And this, ex, this goal, believe it or not, can be already seen and is expressed in the way people are learning. Well, unfortunately, if people are learning and in the learning, how they're learning the Torah, it's evident the person is interested for the intellectual benefit that he's getting out of it. And you have another person who's also learning and understanding and everything, but you feel the vibes of his emuna and his simple faith in his learning. Even if it's deep, even if it's intellectually challenging, still you're made to feel the presence of emuna and simplicity and straightforwardness and honesty in the learning. Rabbi Nachman warns that chokhmot are not needed at all. In other words, an attitude of intellectual speculation for the purpose of something other than looking for Hashem, that is totally unnecessary even in Judaism, even in the Torah, and one must do their best to avoid that attitude as much as possible. For simple-minded people, it may seem easy. But the thing is, for those who are intellectually advanced, it's more needed because there's already a tendency to be intellectual, but still they must be reminded that the goal of the learning is on a revealed level, not just it's the goal behind the scenes, even on the revealed level is my goal is to serve Hashem. That when I close my Gemara, 
I'm able to dove in like a child, like a newborn baby, and to act and, pre and present myself to Hashem like I'm starting, and not to feel like I'm an accomplished scholar and I'm accomplished somebody, but always coming with the attitude of simplicity. This is the goal of learning Torah. It is the trick that a person has to be able to balance. But if now a person already strengthens, solidifies their foundation in simple imun, and that's the whole reason why I'm involved in Judaism, in Torah and mitzvot, it's for the sake of Hashem. So even if they get involved in amazing learning and deep intellectual gymnastics, you, you will sense and feel the emuna and simplicity in their learning. The example Rabbi Nachman gives of this is to be found in Rabbi Nachman's stories, the Sipur Masyot, the story of the Chacham and the Tam, the Simpleton and the Sophisticate, the, sorry, the Sophisticate and the Simpleton, where the Simpleton became a governor and they began to train him in all types of foreign wisdoms and languages and yet as, as advanced as, as he became he still did not budge from his straightforwardness and his honesty and his simplicity and because of that everybody loved him including the king and the king elevated him to be the governor of all the governors because even though he was so well versed and well learned he maintained his simplicity Rabbi Nachman hints here amongst the other many deep secrets that he has behind it on a simple level that this is an attitude that as much as a person will intellectually advanced still he's able to maintain that simple devotion to Hashem his intellect does not come to destroy and ruin his simple faith